Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Michael Maney begins now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us this Christmas Eve. First tonight, it's a notorious time of year on our roads, but it doesn't have to be. Operation Safe Arrival is all about, well, arriving safe to our destinations, and it's underway across all Tasmanian thoroughfares. Our police asking for just one thing this Christmas, for drivers to please do the right thing. They see you when you're speeding. They know when you're on drugs. Not Santa Claus, but Tasmania police. Clocking drivers behaving badly. Naughty drivers is probably an understatement. People are doing things like travelling at 150 kilometres an hour on our highways. That particular driver was just a teenager and on his peas. Slapped with a hefty fine, it's a small price to pay for endangering the lives of his three passengers. The breathtaking arrogance of some people to do those sorts of speeds and expect not to be caught is um, so disappointing. It's not just teenagers breaking the law. There was a male in his 40s on Friday night who was caught doing 151 kilometres an hour. His vehicle was clamped straight away, $1,000 fine, lost his licence straight away. Tired eyes behind the wheel is another deadly combo. Officers say driving while sleepy is simply not worth the risk. It's not just speeding and fatigue that police are honing in on, but drink and drug driving as well. Just this morning, a driver was caught over the limit on the eastern shore after drinking last night. A timely reminder that alcohol stays in the system long after you've gone to sleep. So it's a really big lesson. If you're out drinking, think about the next morning as well because it's not just that night that you've got that issue with um, your ability to control a car. The only thing on the wish list for Tasmania Police? Zero road toll. Madeline Kerr, 7 Tasmania News. Launceston drivers had ringside seats as the festive spirit went out the window in an ugly apparent road rage incident. The driver of the van gets out as he's approached by another man before fists start flying at the intersection of Frederick and Bathurst Street. The fight lasting at least 25 seconds, even after the green light, the, the light turns green. It's unclear whether anybody was injured. Travellers have been on their best behaviour today, passing through Tasmania's airports with ease to stay on Santa's nice list. Usually a chaotic time for terminals, it seems this Christmas Eve will be merry and bright despite the influx in people. Preparing for one of its busiest days, Hobart Airport has been pleasantly surprised by its flow of flights. It's been very steady and everybody's been really quite quite patient. I think everybody's really made a big effort to, to get the flights in and I've noticed the baggage is really good. Music to the ears of interstate and international travellers. My daughter from is coming from Brisbane for oh Christmas. Nice. Where have you come from? Well, America, of course, but we went to New Zealand and then came to Sydney and then here. Around 11,000 people took to Hobart's terminal today with 40 flights touching down and 40 taking off. That's an increase of around 3,500 passengers from, from last year. Now most of those, two thirds of those people who are travelling through the airport are actually coming into Tasmania. Each reaching their destinations in time for Christmas Day. We're going to Bonnarong, the yes. wildlife sanctuary tomorrow. We're here for a fun over 50s. Okay. Uh, 10 day tour, tinsel in Tassie. Four and a half thousand commuters also passed through Launceston Airport, one standing out from all the rest. We are expecting a, uh, a very special long haul flight tonight, uh, somewhere in the wee small hours of tomorrow morning and we're looking forward to uh, the big fella arriving. And with minimal delays in play, there's no doubt Santa Claus is coming to town. Brianna Boylan, 7 Tasmania News. Tables have been set for around 400 people who will enjoy a traditional Christmas meal tomorrow at Launceston's Community Christmas Lunch. Hosted by a number of local charities, this year's event at the Door of Hope Church is fully booked. The children get a present from Santa, but more importantly, everybody gets to enjoy the festive atmosphere. A lot of the individuals who may be coming along tomorrow might be experiencing the, the greatest poverty of all, which is social isolation. So being able to break that on Christmas Day is really important for us. 
IGA has donated the food which will be prepared and served by volunteers. Another 100 takeaway meals will also be delivered to those who can't leave home. The Hurricanes Blunston Arena Fortress has proven itself again, forming the backdrop for a season-defining victory. Mac Wright making a strong pitch for a regular spot in the squad, playing a major role in the Canes' first win of BBL 13 after a last-minute call-up. Winless from their first two games, the Hurricanes were falling over themselves to get the job done at home. And with the Renegades on the run, Nicole Chaudhry... Catch taken! Paddy Dooley... And Nathan Ellis hit the brakes in the space of four balls. Straight for him. It's Mac Wright, though, who should be the talk of the town, showing Jeff Vaughan he's the right fit for a permanent spot in the team, having received the call-up less than an hour before the game. Look at that from Mac Wright. We've One half of a crucial 140-run partnership with Matthew Wade. The 25-year-old treating the Melbourne bowlers with contempt while smashing six after six. That ball is taking a bruising. After playing just two big bash games in the last two years. I was pretty nervous. I felt like I couldn't hit the ball for the first 20 balls. Um, and then just had a nice sort of 10 minutes of in the flow state and got lucky really. So it was nice. It was very pleasing. The six-wicket win puts the Canes back on course. After a few losses, it could be easier to go back in your shell. But I think tonight we tried to really take take the game on and keep playing the way we want to and just enjoy it. Now sitting just one point outside the top four, it's time to capitalise on the Blunston advantage with a run of home games, starting with the Stars on Thursday. Nick Kelly, 7 Tasmania News. The Jack Jumpers have returned to the island with another win, defeating the Illawarra Hawks by 11 points last night. Scott Roth's men focusing on defence. Point guard Jordan Crawford producing another dominant display. An away win in the bag is never guaranteed, but on Christmas Eve, Eve it's even sweeter. I'm proud of our guys. Uh, we've got some time to recuperate and get ready to go again. Point guard Jordan Crawford never far away from the action. His opponent should know by now to never leave him to his own devices. Jordan Crawford, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, Pete. I don't, I don't feel he can be guarded one on one. You have to literally hope he misses. 20 points in total, four rebounds and one assist. The Ohio native humble in his success. Being confident, my, my teammates are being confident in me. You know. After a hectic first quarter, the Hawks could have made a comeback. Here come the Hawkies. A few good shots from the hosts. There's more energy about the Hawks in this third quarter. They have, they have come out with a little more energy. But no more so than the Jackies. The clock ticking down, Will Magnate and Clint Steindl returning to the court. The JJs, they're not taking the foot off the gas. With less than five minutes to go, Captain Steindl doing what he does best, defending the island. Earning him a pat on the back from coach. I thought Clint was fantastic tonight, especially in their zone. The final score, 100 points to 89. The Jackies take on South East Melbourne Phoenix tomorrow, decked out in their Christmas digs. Playing during holidays is something Scott Roth is all too familiar with. For me, it's just another game of, um, of basketball here. It's a little bit more, I think, unique. Madeline Kerr, 7, Tasmania News. Good evening, 24 in Launceston today, Bernie 22, 21 about Hobart and Devonport. 25 was the state's top at Ooze, Lowhead and Smithton reaching 22 and 21 in Strawn. Low level cloud is seen over most of the state today apart from the north and west coasts. Further out, a mid to high level cloud band lies over central parts of the continent while extensive thunderstorms extend along coastal Queensland and New South Wales. Tomorrow shows an area of low pressure extending from a low over inland WA, while isolated showers are seen across the Bass Strait Islands with mostly fine conditions across the rest of Tasmania. East to south easterly winds tomorrow 10 to 20 knots, reaching 30 knots in the north. Swells up to 3 metres in the west and south and below 1 metre in the north. A strong wind warning is current for the far northwest coast and central north coast. Tomorrow's forecast now for Christmas Day, Hobart and Dover, partly cloudy, ooze 26. In the north, Launceston 26, partly cloudy about Devonport and Scottsdale. Burnie and Strawn tomorrow, mostly sunny, 23 in Stanley. St Helens and Swansea 21 and partly cloudy in Ross. 
Looking ahead to the three-day forecast now, Boxing Day showers about the east with possible thunderstorms about Flinders Island, fine elsewhere. Wednesday, isolated showers about the northeast, mostly fine elsewhere. And Thursday showers about the west and northeast with west to southwesterly winds. Capital cities 35 and mostly sunny in Perth tomorrow. Adelaide a shower or two and 23 in Melbourne. And currently Hobart 18 and cloudy, Launceston 20 and Devonport 19 and partly cloudy. And it's looking like some warm temperatures statewide tomorrow for Christmas, Michael. And that's all for your news now from uh, Seven's crew on this Christmas Eve 2023. From all of us here at Seven Nightly News, we wish you a happy and joyous Christmas Day. Good night.